Krypton, the home planet of Superman, known for producing exceptional life forms with powers such as superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, flight, and so many more. The perfect combination of powers to become an amazing basketballer. Another power often overlooked by the Kryptonians is their incredible musical ability. Yes, I am proposing that Isaac Humphrey's Adelaide 36 a star basketballer and now fringe artist could be from Krypton. This Friday and Saturday, Isaac will be performing in Highmark Square at the Wonderland Spiegel Tent. Welcome to the show, Isaac Humphreys. Isaac, such a pleasure to have you here in the studio. How are you this morning, mate? I'm very good. How are you? Yeah, very well. We're doing awesome, Isaac. And, uh, you know, it's a pleasure to have you in here. You've got a new Fringe show we want to talk about. We're really excited to see it. I do have a new Fringe show. Well, it's my first Fringe show, actually. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's called Unearthed. It's about my life, I guess, or the roller coaster journey that has been my life over the last sort of three or four years. Um I came out as gay a few years ago, making me the only openly gay male basketball player on the on the planet. Yep. And with that obviously came a lot of pressures and a lot of yep. things that, you know, you don't really think about. But of course, getting to that point was a very dark, tricky road for me. Yes. So the show sort of unearths all of those emotions, the lessons that I learned, the discoveries I made and the people that I met who like lifted me up in my dark days and also taught me how to be who I am today. So it's a mixture of covers and originals and really sad songs and really happy songs and yeah we'll quite literally go through this like roller coaster emotional journey that is my life so yeah, yeah I mean it's a whole nother experience and like you said this is the first fringe show you've done is it pretty nerve wracking would you say it compares to you know doing a three pointer <laughs> when the clock's running to zero yeah uh, look it's it's different it's like the same lane of nerves the same channel of adrenaline and stuff yeah. but the biggest difference I often think is uh, in a basketball game like there's so many unknowns you don't know what's going to happen you don't know whether you'll score or play well or you know, maybe get hurt or yeah. if we win or lose, like you've just got no idea. Whereas in a show, I can, like I write all my shows and I know exactly what's going to happen. I know how we're going to go and it's a bit more controlled. So the nerves are way less. Um, I'm not very a nervous person anyway, much of a nervous person. So have you ever had stage fright? Um, no, oh, like, okay. not really. Uh, my first headline show was in the US a few years ago and I was like 19 or something. And I remember my friends and family being in my dressing room pre-show like, dude, are you okay? Like, what's yeah. going on? You're about to perform like a sold out opera house. Like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I don't mind. Like, it's all right. I'm, I know I'm good. Like, it's it's all good, you know? Hey, it's so, good to know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I just don't have that in me to be really nervous and stage friday. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yes, a lot of our fresh listeners would know you from the 36s. Uh, yeah. at fresh, we love the Adelaide 36s. But the Fringe, like, what, what drove you to be like, I want to write a Fringe show? I mean, it's such a personal journey. Why did you feel like you wanted to share this with all of Adelaide? Well, I like to give back to Adelaide as much as I can in different ways. Um, and I think I can bring many different things other than basketball to Adelaide so yeah. I had a show at the Febby a few years ago um, music wise and I think it did pretty well and it was a charity show for the Ronald McDonald House here in town but this time around I thought let's commit to Fringe and let's contribute to this massive operation that Adelaideans love um, yeah. you know when you think of Adelaide it's Fringe right like everyone loves Fringe and uh, I was given an opportunity to not only be an artist, but be a full ambassador for the whole festival. And I'm, you know, I'm taking that very seriously. And that role's been incredible. Um, and I've learned a lot about Fringe and learned how to do my own show and write my own show and put everything together because there's a lot of steps. You know, it's not yeah, just show up and do absolutely. your show. So I, I got to know as well. Does anyone ever get like really annoyed with you that you're just great at everything? <laughs> <laughs> incredible yet, uh, singer, incredible not guitarist. Not to my face, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you and like you're amazing at basketball. <laughs> just cherry on top. <laughs> I have to ask, being in the community, like you said, with all these fringe artists and everything, are you getting any help or, you know, tips and tricks from people that have been around the fringe scene for a while? Yeah, I am. Um, my fellow ambassador and beautiful friend of mine, Prinny Stevens, has been helping me. She's, I think, a four-year or five-year fringe vet. So she, uh, and she, like I said, she's also an ambassador with me this year. So I was very fresh to it all, sort of thrown in the deep end with the big role, but I uh, have lent on her a, little, a fair bit. Just with the ins and outs of putting a show together and stuff, I can write a show and put a show together, no problem. But add all the added fringe layers, you know, sure. getting your posters out and getting in the guide and making sure everything's written and you got to write everything and you got to create everything yourself. So yeah. it's, um, 
it's a lot, but it's so worth it. You know, I'm so excited for my show coming up. It's going to be very worth it when I when I'm up there performing. Yeah, we're very excited for it too. Don't miss out on the incredibly talented Isaac Humphries in Highmarsh Square Friday and Saturday, the 15th and 16th of March. Isaac, what a pleasure it is to have you in. Thanks again, mate. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers.